welcome back to Rodent Replies, the series on my channel where I answer your questions about rats and mice. So for today's video I wanted to answer the question of do rats and mice need a wheel? So although they are two separate species and have different needs, I do own both of them so I thought it would be useful to talk about whether both of them need a wheel here on my channel for anyone that is considering keeping either of them. So let's start with mice, do they need a wheel? Mice are such high energy little creatures and when we bring them into our homes and keep them in a cage, they don't have the luxury of being able to exert this energy whenever they want, which is why it's so important that we give them a wheel. Both male and female mice do need to have a wheel in their cage, but it's important that you pick out the right one and one that is safe for them. You need to make sure the wheel you're giving them is safe. Some people will just avoid using any wire wheels, but you definitely want to avoid any wheels that are just like a straight bar, but some people do use mesh wheels and find those perfectly safe. I really wouldn't recommend using one that is just like a straight metal bar just in case there is the added risk of them getting their tails or their feet trapped in this and getting injured. If you are worried about using this kind of wheel with your mice, then there are plenty of others on the market, you just need to make sure they're big enough. A wheel that is too small can cause your mouse's back to arch unnaturally, and this can cause the tail to curl, and this is thought to cause something called wheel tail, which some people believe in, some people don't, some people think it's just a genetic thing, but I definitely would try to avoid giving your mouse a wheel that is causing their back to arch and causing their tail to curl up too much when they run. A wheel that is about 6.5 inches in diameter is about the minimum size recommended, but if you can go a bit bigger than this, and go to about 8 inches and that would be a really good wheel for your mice. Some examples of some good wheels of size is a 6.5 silent spinner or an 8 inch comfort wheel. Another good alternative is a flying saucer. This is what I use in Fig's Cage and I know a lot of other people that keep mice and use this kind of wheel as well. I'd recommend the medium size for these and this just allows the mouse to run at a more natural angle and you don't have to worry about their spines and their tails curving. Another thing that I thought was worth mentioning on the topic of mice is that if you do have multiple or quite a lot of mice then it is worth putting multiple wheels in the cage just to prevent them from fighting over these. So moving on to rats, do rats need wheels? Rats are a little bit different because you can free roam them a bit easier than you would with mice just because you don't have to worry too much about losing them due to their size. Although it is good to have your mice out too, in some sort of secure area or a playpen, it's definitely recommended to have your rats out free roaming and running around for at least half an hour to an hour every day if you can. So do they need a wheel on top of this? Well, yes and no. When thinking about this question, we have to look at it from the aspect of male and female rats. Female rats are generally a lot more energetic than males, so I would recommend providing them with a wheel. Not all rats will use it, but it's definitely worth giving it to them as an option. Males, on the other hand, in general, do tend to be a lot more lazy. Some people do provide them with a wheel, but have found that they just use it to sleep on. But I would definitely recommend providing a wheel for females if you're thinking of getting them or you already have them. Please just make sure the wheel is big enough, though. Unfortunately, most store-bought wheels you'll find in pet shops aren't actually big enough for rats even though they say they're targeted at rats. Again, you want to try and avoid the rat's back arching and curving, which is something that will happen if you give them a wheel that is too small. A wheel for your rat should be at least 12 inches in diameter. If you have one in there currently that is too small, I'd definitely recommend upgrading it to an appropriate size or just taking it out completely. If you do already have a wheel in your cage for your rats but you're finding they're not using it, Definitely check that it is an appropriate size for them, but some rats just won't use a wheel, so just make sure they get enough daily time outside of the cage. Some appropriately sized wheels that I would recommend for rats are bucket type wheels, so Carolina Storm wheels or Tic Tac wheels. Those kind of wheels are going to be expensive and will take up a lot of space in your cage, but this is the size of wheel that you need to get for your rats. While we're on this topic, please don't ever use exercise balls for mice, rats or any other small animal for that matter. Not only are you really unlikely to find one that is actually an appropriate size for rats, but it is really cool to be forcing them into these balls and taking away their choice to come and go as they please and making them run in this. They also don't offer any ventilation and all around it's just going to stress your animals out by forcing them into these balls so as an alternative please just make them some sort of play area or rat proof your room and secure any like gaps and places they can get away and just let them run around of their own accord. So that's it for today's rodent replies, hopefully I covered everything in this video. Don't forget to leave any suggestions for future rodent replies in the comments and I will be sure to feature it in a future video. Also make sure you are subscribed to see any future videos from us and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!